Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you the configuration steps and master data settings that you need to do to implement the capacity planning in SAP. Okay, I have done the, those uh, configuration and master data settings in SAP already, but I am going to show you. So, if you in this way, you can uh, make sure that you have done the configuration properly okay so i am going to create a production order order using transaction 001 okay so here i give the some quantity and i give the date so if i press enter see this order is automatically scheduled okay if you want to implement the capacity planning this should happen when you create a production order and also if you click this button see it checks the capacity and it says the capacity is available so this if you are getting this kind of message that means you have done the correct configuration and master data settings for capacity planning if not uh, you will get a message like uh, no capacities uh, there are no capacities allocated or no ca capacities booked likewise okay so if you are getting this message it means you have done the configuration properly okay okay that's it I'm not going to save this one okay first the configuration that you need to do okay so I'm in the SPRO path you know we are familiar with that okay in under the production you go to capacity requirement planning and the operation or scheduling under scheduling click this defining scheduling parameters for production orders okay Currently, you have a specific plant. Let's say my plant is this one, and the order type that you are creating production orders. So I'm using <coughs> PP01 order type for this plant. Okay, if I double click that one, so I go down. See here, you in your configuration, this tick okay, and this tick should be. Tick. this checkbox should be ticked okay that means uh, the configuration is okay and also if you need to do the automatic schedule like I showed you previously when I create my order it's scheduled automatically so I click this one and you have to give the schedule in type forward in time or backward in time okay that's the one configuration uh, you need to do okay then if you go to your work center master right Okay, the you know this transaction code is ER02. So I give my plant and the work center name, work center. Okay, then I'm in, in, in that work center. So go to the capacities. Here in capacities, I have used setup formula and processing formula under the capacities. Okay, so if you uh, you need to select the correct formula for each category of this capacity and schedule so the formula that you need to that you should uh, select for the capacity should have uh, the configuration like this here I have used SAP 005 I go to the configuration path okay so work center formula configuration is uh, under production uh, basic data work center capacity planning work center formulas under formulas you can see define formulas for work center you execute that one now what is your formula that you have used for uh, capacity it's SAP 005 okay. okay so make sure you are using the formula which this work center for capacity requirement uh, checkbox is tick okay the formula that you are using in work center should be like this okay that's the one thing so here I have used 6 6 is also okay see right now in the work center if you go to the scheduling view you have another uh, two see formulas if I check these formulas say the 001 
this one here this formula should allow for scheduling this box should be ticked for the scheduling formulas okay so you need to uh, be very careful when you selected formulas in your work center master okay and the next thing is under capacities if you go to capacity header data uh, i go to the interval and shift here see uh, make sure you have the validity period uh, during the current period okay it means a validity period the, the if you are planning today the you should define the correct valid from when to period okay so i have valid from this to this and i have scheduled for one two three four five six days per week and here i have used the shift also this is not a mandatory requirement but if you have a shift you can uh, configure the shift and use in work center master so i have already uploaded a video for the shift configuration okay so my shift is start at 8 10 in the morning and finishes at 6 evening okay i have length of break of 130 hour, one, 1 hour and 30 minutes okay now i go back and here make sure you have selected your factory calendar the correct one production calendar normally if you use uh, five days per week you can define a new calendar using SCCL I have already uploaded the video for that one also and if you are using shift uh, shift make sure you select one here otherwise it will consider these capacities because I have selected the one here it will not uh, uh, consider these general capacity it will uh, select the it will consider the uh, the shift data okay and here a relevant to finance scheduling should be ticked and the long term planning should should be ticked okay so these are the master data that you uh, need to do that you need to complete before you do the capacity planning so you go to cm25 and you select the your overall profile like this and you give your work center and plant and you run this okay so in this way you will see the planning board but uh, to see the this this planning board you have to do the correct configurations and master data settings in sap Okay, so that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel.